I think the overriding message um, at the start of the week was to get up, get up and get on with it. Um, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a obviously hugely disappointing def um, defeat, but we can't wallow in feeling sorry for ourselves. You know, we've got a massive game this week, and uh, uh, you've got to stand up and and, and go back. And uh, uh, the boys responded brilliantly on uh, Monday. We did the review, the lessons learned, as we always do. Uh, looked into Australia and um, the strength of their team, but also where we feel we can exploit them. Uh, and by Monday evening. As I think I said at the time of the press conference, they were ready to play, I think, and uh, it's a matter of holding them back this week. We respect the quality of the opposition we're playing against, but we know we've beaten them as well. We've beaten them in the last two games. And uh, uh, that belief that we've got, not just from, from that, but also from um, being in this position in the past, getting over a defeat and turning it in the next performance into a positive one and a victory, we've done before. And I know we can do it again. I'm 100% certain. Um, and I say I'll go back to that South Africa game uh, in, uh, in 2012. You know, it was a similar scenario. Uh, and the All Blacks came into town, and you know that's the mentality we've got going into the team. I can feel it in the t in the side. To win games at this level, where you know the uh, the margins are small, but consequence is huge. Um, you've got to hit a high percentage of accuracy and decision making across the board for the full 80. Uh, and you know we've spoken about that. And the emotion around the game last week, there was a lot lot made, obviously, um, of the performance. But actually, for 50, 60 minutes, we were 22-12 up, and we played a very, very good level of international Test match rugby. It's a must-win game because. If we don't, we don't qualify at the pool of the World Cup and uh, you know, there's no hiding away from that. There's no hiding away from where the responsibility and accountability lies, you know, so of course it is. Um, uh, but as I say, you know, as a leader in, in, in the number one position, I've got to make sure the players are focused not on the size of the game, you focus on the detail and the process around winning the game. And this is a, this is a very good team we're playing against, you know, um, across the board. I think they've got world-class players. They've clearly been well coached and um, they're their culture and their team spirit um, seems very strong now in, in contrast to when we played them last. Uh, so it's going to be a huge challenge for us. But at home, Twickenham, as Rob said, with the country behind us, I think will be difficult to be as well.